This is the lab video for lab 5C, Gravity and Falling Objects. When you come into class, what you're going to need is the stand, you're going to need two photo gates, and the data collector. The bottom photo gate is going to get the blue cord, and that is always going to be at hole number four, and that one is not changing. The uh, red photo gate, photo gate A, at first that is going to be the sixth hole from the bottom. Now when you set these up, you want to set it up so the photo gate is perpendicular to the stand. So there is a spot for you to attach the thumb screw on the back, and you want to make sure that these photo gates are at 90 degrees. You, want them, you don't want them like crooked or anything like that. Now when you're doing this lab, there's a little bit of technique, and it might be a little annoying at first. With this first photo gate at hole number six, what you want to do is hold the marble at hole number seven. So you might have to look down to see that it's about lined up and get an idea of where your hand is. Now the beam that the marble has to fall through is towards the end of the photo gate. There's these little slits that are there. And when you're dropping this, there's like I said, there's a little bit of technique with this. You want to drop it and catch it at the other end. But when you're going to drop it, you don't want to squeeze the marble real tight because when you do that, it'll kind of stick to your hands and it'll fall crooked. Right, it kind of hit that one. What you want to do is hold it really, really lightly and then just release it and it should go right through. Now your numbers probably aren't going to be as consistent as they are as when we use the cars and the tracks, but we will be getting the average. So with a little bit of practice, I think you'll be able to get it pretty good. You're going to do that three times with the photo gate, the top photo gate at the six hole up when you're holding it at hole number seven. And then you're going to move it up two spots to hole number eight, and you're going to hold the marble at number nine. Right? And do three trials like that. Now, like I said, the averages I think will turn out pretty good when we do this, but we'll see. The other thing you want to pay attention to, and it's in the PowerPoint that I have uh, on Classroom, the diameter of this marble is 0 0.019 meters, and that is what we are going to use as the distance when we do the math. So pay attention to that, 0 0.019 meters.